All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Wednesday Night Horror Night with J2 the Dilla. I know it's been a week or so, maybe two weeks. I haven't done any streams or any videos. And I apologize for that for millions and millions of viewers around the world. But I've just been very, very busy, man. But it's okay. Today, we'll continue on and finish this game for sure. Not today, but I'm just saying... We'll continue on starting today and we'll see how far we go today. As you guys know, the routine get your popcorn ready, get your drinks. We'll start in just this second. Let's go. Alright, so, last time we left off in this room, and I figured out what to do. I was playing around a little bit uh, tonight, so, what it is, is this, you see this little, right there, that hawk, he watches us, right? And he basically follows us, and what we need to do is, there's two gems that we need to get from this Palak right here, the deer, and from that bull right there. Do you see how, like, the yellow eye is shining? That's because you have to turn this light switch off. This is how it was at first when we came in, right? And you can't really see anything. You can't tell what, you know... If there's gems up there, there's no gems or whatnot. Can't really tell. So I was playing around and I found out when you hit the switch, it turns the lights off. And when the lights are off, the gems shine. So what we're gonna do is drag that over here. And you can't see how the hawk is watching me. You can't grab the gem. Because the hawk is watching you. So what you need to do is have the hawk follow you over here. Right? And we hit a clink. And then trick no 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 no. Trick the hog by going underneath and going up and then grabbing it. Boom. Before the hog sees you. But we can't grab it yet because we can't see there's a gym in there. So we have to turn off the light first. Let's turn the lights off. That's what I did for this side over here, the red gym. I already picked it up. So, alright. Nope. So let's get the hawk over here. Alright. Now the hawk is looking at us. We... Walk this side, we get up, and then boom, we grab it. You stupid. Bro, you are a derp. You are a derp. Really? I was spamming X. I was spamming to grab it. This guy is just... Sometimes a derp. There you go. Yes. Alright. And that is that. We are done with this room. I believe so. Yep. So, this Yellowstone that we just picked up will actually, it's gonna fit in that tiger's eye. So we just need to figure out where the heck it was, tiger's eye. Okay, so it's, the, it's at the bottom floor. So we'll go back down. And I also brought this one bullet 
self-defense gun. So we'll just basically use it and get it over with. Oh my God, Jesus loves me. How could you miss that? How could you? Bro, how could you miss that? You are one of the mm, mm, this game. This game, this game. And and the glass is broke, man. Why'd you Man I can't but it's already starting horror night. Man, I have I have been playing this for a week or two. I'm just not used to this craziness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's put this away for now. Get some shotgun shells. Right. Let's combine it with this. Let's put the shotgun shells back. Um. Let's pick up two mixed green herbs. How about that? Let's use that. Okay. Oh my goodness. Can't believe they broke that freaking windows, man. And I knew, I told you guys before, those windows look really, really suspicious, you know? The way the angle is. Okay, there's another. There's another one. There is another one. I didn't I was I was pressing the freaking auto aim. It did not go to him. Man, that scared the shizzling out of me. Where did he come from? Where did he come from? Alright, it's okay. It's alright. Man, oh my god, I'm not really happy and excited to come back to this game, bro. Nuh-uh. Uh-uh. So we get please give me something good. Give me something good. I'll be, you know, proud of. What the hell is that? Will you take the Mo disc? Mo disc? Bro, I want something good in ammo, shot and upgraded shotgun, bazooka. Mo disc. Examine this Mo disc. It appears to be a disc for rebooting a system of some sort. Rebooting a system? What system? Okay, so... Man, oh man, man, oh man, oh man. Alright, so we got that part that's done too, right? Right. So, if we go upstairs... All right, we need to go upstairs. Oh, man. No disc. Should we put that away? I think we should put that away. We need to put it away because... We don't have any room. Unless we had that one bullet self-defense gun. this away let's put the mo disc away okay all right upstairs okay 
Okay, now where? We go... Around the stairs, I believe, yeah. Okay. We go around. I'm keeping the shotgun with me just in case we get more of these god dang lizard things. Zombie? Uh. Did we kill the zombie? I really don't remember killing the zombie. Do you think the lizards killed the zombie? Let's see where we need to go. Yeah. We need to go this side and around. Okay. You know, auto aim, we're good. Let's go around. And inside here. Alright. Hopefully, 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 there's no lizards. Looks good. Ooh. All right. Okay. Okay. We open the helmet, helmet key door. We can push it. What's this? Okay, well that was not nice, was it? I can die here? Are you a picture of a mother and a child upon closer examination? The left hand side looks like someone's face. Hmm. Wait. John. Don't die, bro. Okay. So I'm thinking we push this. I don't want to die. How far do I push it? this again uh. 
Okay. Seems impossible, boys and girls. That really seems impossible to do. By the time I I just had to push a little bit further and it automatically goes in. Okay, never mind. That was good. That was, you know, easy to do. Okay, nice. Don't tell me that was it. Oh, never mind. Ooh. Um. Alright, I guess we have to go down there, huh? Psh. We have. This. Do we take the last book volume? Eagle of South, Wolf of North. What's in here? Ah, okay. the metal was hidden inside the book. There's nothing unusual. Found inside the last book volume one, there is a special way to use it. I don't know. I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with the formula, uh, formula that hide, whatever, however, however you pronounce that, formula they hide. And those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high heel shoe in the uh, corridor. It was like a reflex. One name came to my mind, Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope. You're alive. Is this the same guy? That was trying to escape for his family because they wouldn't let him go. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with, with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel. And another dead end. But even in darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave, but deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. Ooh. That instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here, and I, I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything has become so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Yeah, yeah. Those were his uh, family. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. A name is carved into the small gemstone. George Trevor. Switch. He must have gone down there because there's no body over here, right? Yeah, nobody at all. Ooh, there's something there. There's something there. Let's use this.
Whatever this gun was, goodness gracious, that was good. That was a mm hmm. One shot kill, baby. Is it? There's another one. I heard it. Reload. Okay. Let's listen and see if there's another one. Yeah, it's still red. There's something here we have to pick up, so I'm not sure. There's this map? That's a map, yep. Take it. Damn right I'm taking it. You got the map, okay. And that's a dead end, I believe. Shotgun shells. It's not the cardboard box, lies a guarded shell of molten spider. Oh, we can't care anymore. That's a such a blooper. Okay. Where are we? Oh, I know where we were at. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna head back to the mansion. This is that locked door. Okay. I know exactly where we're at. Son of a... Die already, bro. <sighs> bro, I'm out of... Let's go back. Go back and get that shell shotgun because now I'm out of the uh, that, that extra clip of my handgun. And this shotgun shell is going to help us, you know. Yes, sir. It's going to be six of them, I believe. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's combine that with this. We get ten. Okay. And we have about four shots with this handgun. We are running out of ammo, boys and girls. We are running out of ammo. I'll tell you that. And we do have one dead zombie over here that I have to burn. If I don't burn him, he's gonna come back. What's that? So, let's pick up that dagger. We'll need it. Okay. That's not good. It looks like the power supply for the elevator. The main fuse is blowing out. Switch. Switch over. The power supply appears to be function again okay it's back online you hear that
What is that sound? There's a number of small objects on the shelf. Looking closer, you notice the seal of a raccoon city on a broken disc, on a broken dish. It's still red. Because is it because it was too red? Yeah, it's because of these two. That's why it's red. Okay. But we do got to come back soon and burn that bastard. Because we don't want him to. What? Unlocked it. Okay, good. So I, I believe this door is going to take us back to the mansion. Oh, no. Yes, it did take us back to the mansion, but not where I thought. Okay. Thought I was going to take us back completely somewhere else, but okay, never mind. What is there to pick up from here? Kerosene, kerosene. And you know what, boys and girls? I totally forgot where the last spot was of kerosene that I could get it from. I don't even know. I have no clue anymore. Jesus Christ! guy these guys are not are not cool whatsoever uh-uh uh-uh why'd you have to break the door bro uh-uh i don't like him i do not like them oh no oh no We're good, we're good. All right, let's put this away. And... Let's take this. See if I can mix these two. Nope. Okay, we'll put this away too. And we'll put this away. That way we could pick up the red and the blue and burn the zombies. I don't even know where I'm going, you know? I really don't. I'm just terrified. I'm going to the right place, actually. I'm going to the right place.
one. I didn't get to shoot him in the head. I wanted to shoot him in the head. I tried to, but it didn't work. Close enough. Still not close enough. What? Not necessary. There we go. I was like, what do you mean not necessary, bro? Okay. the red we'll take the blue let's combine them you can't combine blue and red that's that's dumb okay still red that means we still haven't picked up something I'm just pressing next on everything right here. Trying to see if there's something I can pick up over here. Nope. Down here. Nope. So what is it? Ah. Okay. There you go. It's green now. We're good. As a matter of fact, let's see what we need to open. Oh, you know where we need to go? Here. That was one. Okay. So we need to go to second floor. Okay. And I think there's something here that we need to pick up as well. Oh, it's that dagger right there. I see it. Okay. So I gonna get up? I think the use the elevator? No. Not yet. Let's go. Let's go and use that helmet key first. Cause I'm thinking the elevator might take us out to the courtyard. We don't want to go there yet. Let's finish this. Let's finish the uh, mansion first. We do have one more key door that we need to open. That's gonna be second floor.
think it's over here. Yeah. Where did this zombie go? I just don't remember killing him. That's the odd part. Just locked on the other side. Hmm. There's an elevator. Do you think the elevator will take us down? No, I don't think it's going to take us there. I doubt it. Not good. Not good whatsoever. Uh... Yeah, that didn't sound normal. You know what? Let's... Let's pick up this. Green herb, mix it red and the blue with it. Okay. Let's pick up this green herb as well. And... Yeah, it's... There's something, and I don't think it's time to go there yet. Let's go back and pick up a handgun and put away the stuff first. Maybe we can come back to this place. Okay. Let's see, what's the fastest way to get to the... Sh Right there. This should take us to the uh, chest. Okay. fill this from I don't remember the spot the spots totally forgot them combine oh it did that's the circle oh Hmm. 
could be over there where I had it the first time, the first time, but... Or it could be here. Let's check this out. Huh. I don't know what this picture. What, what the hell is this picture anyway? I'm trying to figure out what it is. This I know. This I know. Okay, so I believe this is wrong. So this should be like this. Yep. Okay. Then this should be like this. What just happened? Okay, and this. Like this. This there you go. There you go. What do you mean gag gag? It's just, no, no, it's right. No, it's right. It's definitely right. There you go. There you go. There's a brooch inside. Okay. It's a key. It's changed into a key. Emblem key. Oh, this I know it's I know what door this is. There's nothing unusual. Key design with an emblem of a Spencer family whose history is as old as Raccoon City. I know where this goes. I know where this goes. 
Okay, anyways, let's get back to here. So, to go back to this place, it's right there on the first floor. We can get there from the second floor. Nope, that's not what I needed to come. I don't know why I came through there. But oh well. Okay. Nobody here. There you go. Discard it. This must be important. I mean, all that for just this key. <gasps> Rebecca, is she upstairs? Is she upstairs? Turn on the light, bro. Cardinals are still intact. Maybe no one's been here. Huh. Collection of scientific books, almost all of them are. Ooh. Yes, I'll pick this up. Collection of scientific Is that it? Nope, there's one more thing. What is it? What am I supposed to pick up, bro? Huh? 
Ah. Yes, please. Thank you. Now we're good? No, there's still one more. I wonder what it is. Ah, there we go. That should be it. Yep, we're good. Okay. Now we got all this. What is that? Oh, that's a room. Did I miss something? Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Guys, let me right back. Let me use the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So that place was that room that we heard something. S I was scary. What is this? Oh. But how do we? It's the same thing as same emblem as the other one that we have attached that door. Okay. So, what we need to do is get ready for war. Second floor. That is... That elevator will take us directly to that room right there. And that's where we need to go. I believe that's where we need to go. So we can go right now to the elevator. So we have to go to the second floor. No. Sorry, we have to go to the first floor, right? Yeah, first floor. It'll take us to the bottom. Okay.
Okay, I'm just looking, I'm just looking, guys. Looking, looking, looking. It's the fastest way to get to the first floor. This way. What's up, KJ? Yes, bro, this game is awesome. It is a classic. At first, at first though, you know, it was like terrible trying to get used to the game. The controls, the camera angles, you know, and how many space they give you to actually, you know, keep stuff in your stash, inside your inventory, whatever. That was at first hectic, but then, you know, you kind of get used to it. Oh my god, my god, man, this game is, like, it literally scares the poop out of me, bro. Yes, it is terrifying. I'm, it is, like I said, this game scares the poop out of me, bro. Like, literally, you know. pick -a -boo. That's what my poop does. It says, pick -a -boo. All right. Please don't let it be any zombies here. Please don't let it be zombies here. Okay, you're still dead. Okay, let's use it. I'm thinking that this elevator is going to take us to, to that room that's locked from the inside. Hopefully. Have you uh, played the original game? The original Resident Evil 1? Okay. Oh, no. Shh, guys, guys, I hear zombies. Shh. Stick in his head. You son of a punk. How dare you? How dare you touch me like that, you son of a punk? None of the PlayStation 1 have played this version. Very good remake. Oh, yeah, I played the original one too, man. When I was a kid. I used to watch my older brother play the, play the Resident Evil on PlayStation 1. And I was terrified, bro. You know, like, I would go to sleep early, you know? And he would stay up till like, after 10, whatever, after 10 p.m. And I'd wake up in the morning when we are eating breakfast. He'd tell me, he's like, yeah, dude, I got past this, you know, this and this and that. I'm like, oh, no way. How did you do it? <laughs> yeah, dude. I would be so surprised. I'd be scared. Like, how did you do it? What did you do? What happened? You're telling me, yeah, yeah, I've killed the zombie. You have to get this book and put it in. And so one time I was like, oh, that's awesome. I want to play it. And one time after school, he wasn't home. So me and my friends, we, I told my friend, I'm like, hey, come over to my house. There's this new game. It's hella scary. Like, check it out, whatever. So my best friend came with me after school. We went inside my brother's room. We put in the game. And we started playing a new game, you know? And right when we got to that zombie, when he turns around and he's all chewing down that guy's head, and he turns around and looks at you, we got so scared. I just dropped the controller. I turned off the PS1 and we ran out. <laughs> we straight up just ran out of the room like, hell no. <laughs> Where are you guys at, man? Oh, well, where did you come from? Oh, that was a nice headshot. That was a nice headshot, bro. That was a nice headshot right there. Kaboom.
Yes, bro, that scene, literally, it scared the crap out of us. I know, right? I wish all my luck was that good luck. Whoa, whoa, where is this, man? There's so many rooms, so many things to do. There's an oriental scroll on the wall, but the picture on it is western style. Right. So many rooms, man. Okay, you know what? Let's go back over here, and then we can unlock the door, right? Wait. He didn't unlock it. He didn't unlock it. Where am I going? Oh! <gasps> Shut up. What room is this? You're gonna give me more ammo? Not this. I've been... I think I... No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I've been one original... I've been two, I own two and three and four. I, I beat this, just got this, I beat this, I'm playing this. Two, three, four. I own all of them now, dude. I've owned like two, three, four. I got the four remake as well. I just beat the Resident Evil 4. But you know what? I never did record them never did record them like this like how I'm doing it right now so that's this is the reason why I'm re playing all the all the games like I started after four I I beat six and seven and all that too you know seven and eight but I just want to re uh, replay them and record them this time you know stream them whatnot I know that there's a magnum shell right there but I'm just gonna pick up what I can Oh, there's a battery. That's the battery for that, um, for the courtyard. Let's pick up the magnum shell, too. Yeah, dude. I love, to tell you the truth, though, I love Resident Evil 7 and 8 because it's a first point, first, first, uh, first person view. Thank you, buddy. God bless you too, man. Yeah, like, I love first person view games. Like, it's just like, I'm, to me, it's just more exciting. It just seems more realistic, you know? And I heard that Resident Evil 2 got a new mod for like first person view. Some people say it's like a whole new game itself just by playing it first person. So I can't wait for that. There you go, unlock it. Oh, you've seen this uh, Resident Evil 2 first person? Really? It's really a whole different game? I can't wait. I can't wait. Because I'm going to play it after this, you know? This is Resident Evil 1. I was going to play Resident Evil 0. I was going to play Resident Evil 0 first, you know, before this. But then I'm like, man, Resident Evil 0, it's not remake it's not remade yet you know so i just might as well start from one never you never played zero yeah i've never i actually no no I'm, i played zero but i never beaten it i just stopped playing it for some odd reason maybe i just didn't get into it or whatnot but i just i think we should go back and drop some items man let's go back and drop some items we got too many things on our hand Yeah, I really want to try the Resident Evil 2 first person view mod. Really do. It really sounds interesting to me. So I don't know, but I've heard like some rumors that they're saying they're gonna remake Resident Evil 1, like a whole new remake, like with better graphics and whatnot. So I don't know. I don't know if that's true or just a rumor. Yeah, so the mod... 
Yeah, I love the Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7, hands down, like, if not Resident Evil 1, my favorite, because, you know, it's just nostalgia and whatnot. Resident Evil 7 was like, ah, you know, to me, it was just like, wow. Such a, it's just, it was a, such a refresh story. They just completely remade Resident Evil 7. I mean, Resident Evil, you know, game overall. It was really, really good. Yeah, this one is already good as it is. The only thing I don't like about it is the inventory. That's it. But besides the inventory, everything else is good to me. I could not, dude, I could not stand Resident Evil 4, the original. Like, I got headaches from, like, the way it moved. Like, how the character moved when you were aiming and whatnot. Like, it was like, ugh. But the remake was so much smoother. Yes, yeah, that's true. Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil 5 was like, eh. It was more action, if anything. It wasn't like Resident Evil. But it was still fun to play. Yeah, Resident Evil 4, the original, was just a headache. It really gave me headaches. Like, I couldn't play it for long. I played for like 30 minutes and I would get a headache. I'm like, wow, why am I getting a headache with this game, dude? And I'll tell you what, dude. Resident Evil 4, it scared the heck out of me, dude, with those, those Italian or Spanish whatever villagers. Like, I just wanted to, like, run. Like, not even fight them, you know? And my friend was like, no, John, just, just, like, shoot them in the head once. And once they get dizzy, or, like, you know, just run up to them and, like, spin kick them. I'm like, what? He was like, yeah, hey, I just shoot them once in the head or twice. And then run up and spin kick them. So I did. Like, I would shoot them in the head, and I would run up to spin kick them, you know? And like when you spin kick, you also hit everyone, everyone else, like around you. I was like, oh hell yeah! Like, <laughs> you know, like no one can touch me now. <laughs> so, and I would every time I spin kick them, I would I would like shout Hadouken, Hadouken. <laughs> but it was fun. We'll take the battery. We're gonna we're gonna need the battery for sure. Yeah, and I liked especially when you stabbed him in the head with a knife if you snuck up behind him. That was really fun. I really like like sneaky games like that. Yeah, we really can't do much with the green herbs and whatnot. Um, if I open this door, is it a boss fight? Looks like a boss fight. But I'm ready for anything right now, dude. I got... I'm ready to go. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, no, because the way it looks... Do you see that room? Like, the way it's highlighted? It's like extra thickness of black. The outline of the room it just doesn't seem normal you know shotgun shells for days bro I brought it with me just in case you know just in case because <laughs> I ran out of uh, I ran out of um the handgun ammo I was like uh-uh no -uh. -uh, I, ain't, I ain't going to die not like this it is it is, huh? Yeah, I knew it, bro. I knew it. Because also, if you look, if you scroll up, this, this, you see this area here? 
Yeah, this area here, I heard something like, I think it's a, so a slithering, something moved like a, like a monster or something. And I didn't go in there. I didn't go in there. I was like, oh, hell no. I didn't have no weapons, you know, ready or whatnot. So I think I'm ready. I think we can do this, man. I, I have one medic, one healing thing. Oh, you know what? I'm on caution. That's not good. Caution is not good. Let's take one of these greens and use it. Yeah, I'm fine now. Now we can do it. As a matter of fact, should I take another green or should I just get them? Yeah, okay. I'll take them. Well, I can only really carry one, one more. So it's a green anyway. So we, can, we got this. We got this. Let's do it. The knob is broken. It doesn't look like it'll open. Oh wow, wow! All that, all that talk, all that suspense. All that suspense and we can't even open the door. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to go from the uh, top floor down. Because it shows that stairs right there. That's the room where I should have went to. Yeah, so... Yeah, right. All that suspense for nothing. Okay. Well, well, at least now we know, you know? Now we know. How do I get there, though? Oh, oh okay, I remember, I remember. We get there from the second floor. First floor. Hmm. What? From the second floor. Yeah, we get there from the second floor. Okay, we're right there. So we're not that far off. Yeah, right? <laughs> At least I'm ready for anything, bro. I'm ready for anything right now. I got two HP, so you got hella shotgun shells. I like to save my weapons, my ammo, my weapons. I don't like to use them. Like I try to like stab with a knife as much as I can, you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Hey, have a good, thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me, man. Have a good sleep. Have a good night. Don't let the, don't let the bed zombies bite. He <laughs> he. Yes, man. God bless you, bro. Jesus is the way. Absolutely. Once again, thanks for the uh, thanks for the join, bread. You hear that? That's what I was talking about. That is exactly what I was talking about. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, we're, we're, we're doing this boys and girls. We are doing this. Combine the shotgun, get one more in. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's a snake! It's a snake! Oh, it's a snake! No, you bit me, you punk! I'm, I'm poisoned! Oh no, oh no. Is he dead? He's dead. Yes! Ugly, ugly snake. Don't you mess with me, boy. I'm not even poisoned. Hey, I'm not even poisoned, bro. He beat me and I'm not even poisoned. Let's go. Let's go, baby. I mean, you can't get better than that, bro. 
You get bitten and you don't even get poisoned? I mean, how much, how much better can it be? Wait, what is this? You can't carry any more items? Yes, I can. Yes, I will. Bam. Watch me. Eagle of South, Wolf of North. Okay. Let's examine. Metal of Wolf. There's nothing unusual. Found inside the last book, Volume 2. There's a special way to use it. I don't know. Is there? Well, we do have the eagle one. So, that's it, boys and girls. That was it. That was a snake, man. My goodness gracious. My goodness gracious. No knob is broken. It doesn't look like I'll open it. What? Kick the door, bro. Okay, so we can't open that door at all. Let's go back up. Finally, the snake is... You know what? I do remember the snake running away. That would make sense. The snake did run away the first time we fought it. But we got our vengeance back, baby. We got, we got revenge on that snakey snake. He was a cool guy. He was a Christian as well. Cool Christian. It's always cool to have other Christians come by. this metal vehicle metal huh. Also got a Put the battery away as well.
Okay. What's up, Ray? Welcome, welcome. Best viewers on YouTube. I don't even know what that is. But I'll take your word for it. So I believe the courtyard is next. We got everything done. You know what? Um, actually, we don't have everything done. That red door that's right in the stairs. We're supposed to put something on there, but... I don't know how to do that.
I'm really trying to remember where the other canteen of the fuel was. I mean, that fuel tank. Kerosene. So this is dead. Let's put this away. And... Just take the battery. Let's rock and roll. I'm terrified of the snakes. Poison, most likely I'm poison. No, I'm not poison. Nice. Now we need to actually get that crane so we could bring the water back and then use that elevator to go down and go through the waterfall. My dog just growled. He's, he's so grumpy. He's such a grumpy dog. Like when you wake him up or something or bother him or something annoys him, he just goes, Arr. 
Libby, are you okay? I'm sorry, baby. Forgive me, baby. I'm streaming, you know? For the millions and millions of viewers. You know? Forgive me, my love. My hairy baby. You know I love you, right? Let's get that crane. Let's go back and get it down. Also, this way we can just bypass those darn snakes. Hate them. All right. No more waterfall. Stairs to where though? That's the question. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this typewriter. Nice. this away let's do this let's grab one of this Find that. Okay. And let's put this away as well. We 
got green all day, baby. Green all day. I'll tell you what, boys and girls. We're almost in the two hour mark. Let's end it right there. Hey, it's been a while since, you know, we got back to this game. I just, I was just sick. I really, I was, I had this bug. I was like sleeping 24 seven. I was vomiting. You know, my stool was liquid, it was not just not a good stuff, you know? Like, it was Resident Evil, but, like, literally, you know? Or, but anyways, I'm back, in charge, and large, and, um, it was fun, guys. It was really fun. Hope you guys had a beautiful night. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, guys, y'all be cool, y'all be safe. Peace out, dad.